today we're going to take a look at what's in my bag. All right, so we're on the 16th tee here at the JCB uh, Golf and Country Club, and it's a beautiful par four, dog-legging round to the right. Bit of a bunker there to carry, Andy, maybe it's with fine, your driver. fine, I can get over that. So it's going to be, a, it's, it's a really good driving hole for sure. So let's go with the driver first of all. Now, you've obviously had a fitting not that long ago from Mr. Trot, Chris Trot, our yes. friend, and it was a really eye-opening experience for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I think, well, well, the key thing what I wanted to do, I went with the M5 driver. Now, what I wanted to get out of my drives was I wanted to make sure I could spin the ball lower because I felt my club speed was high but I wasn't maxing out on my drives because if I'd, I'd catch it maybe low on the face it would spin too high into the breeze I would lose distance so mm -hmm. I wanted a driver that I could maybe launch a bit higher and actually spin lower so over the average of my rounds I'm getting more out there because I know I've, I've got the power but I wasn't getting the most out of the driver okay. and, and this has certainly done it I mean the, the shots that I've hit and the, the golf that I've played with this so far my bad shots have been longer, which has been good actually. Yeah, I've been yeah. further down there on the bad ones. Okay, now, that's interesting because, I mean, look, it, it sounds strange to say, but with the setup of this, you've gone for a nine degree, haven't you? Yeah. As opposed to a 10.5, which you've probably had since you started playing golf. Yeah, so I've gone, the reason for this, this, this is what's good about the fit. I've gone with nine degree and I've gone with the slightly stiffer shaft. Now, the, 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 the strange thing about this is that going nine degree, I've got to, I've got to be then almost forced to change my attack angle because mm -hmm. it looks so low that I've really got to tr try and create the, the attack angle myself and increase the launch. So it, now I can change a few things. I can tee the golf ball higher. I can sort of feel I can get a bit more behind it, but hit more up on the golf yeah. ball. And that really is changing my attack angle. But certainly with this, I've seen the difference in yeah. launch as well. But I think that this is the beauty of the fitting as well. It's actually really good with these adjustable weights in the back here because we know that when you put the golf ball further forward in the stance and you want to hit up on it, you can bring the left side of the golf course into play. So you obviously had the weight change in the back. Talk a little bit about that. So yeah, so the weight, I've got one in the middle here, but one out in the toe. Now one putting it out in the toe really slows the, the toe of the club down, which means if I put the ball forward in the stance, it means that really I've got a little, that club face isn't going to rotate too much through the ball. So it means it's delaying the toe. So the tee high, ball forward, which means now for me, I'm not, really going to miss it too much left. I haven't got yeah. the fear of it missing left. So the whole mindset is literally tee it high, hit it on the way up and hit it hard. Exactly. And you pretty much can't hit it left I with that setting. I can't really hit it left. The fly gone down my fly back. Down his neck there. Okay. Pretty much can't hit it left. Now I've got in the shaft, I've got a hazardous smoke, but also I've gone with a 70 gram, slightly heavier than usual, and a 6.5. So this is a, is a, a stiff shaft pierce. This one is really Different to 70. what you're used to again. So yeah. it is, it is. Different it, feel. It's interesting that it hasn't actually taken you that long to get used to it, has it? It's no. quite an instantaneous it's sort good. of. Oh, okay, this is good. It's good. Shall we watch you hit one actually, yeah. first of all, or a couple? I've got Trapman in here. We kind of know what numbers you do anyway, but it'd be nice to see what you can do on this par four because it is a beautiful driving hole. And bear in mind here, what I'm getting used to now is really whacking the tee height up, which feels strange. We so, spoke off camera saying that we could still even get it higher, couldn't we? It could yeah. still be more. So I'm teeing it up and really that's encouraging me to hit up on the golf ball. So I should see some higher launches, Pierce, hopefully sort of between 12 and 14, because that's where I know I can get a bit more distance out of it. And my spin is definitely a little bit lower as well from this. pretty much as you would want to see. It's a great golf nice. shot. So a little fade on that, but really nice. Let's get you ready to hit another one in a moment, but I'll just go through some of the numbers there. here. Really good. So attack angle two and a half up straight away. You are yeah. now able to hit up on the golf ball, which is really, really good. Path was a little bit out to the right still, so that shows that you were all good there from things we've worked out before. Again, ball speed 167. Club speed was a little bit down to what you normally get. It's yeah. very cold here at the moment. Smash was good. Launch angle 10.5, spin rate 2,100. 2,000, I like that. Now what that's I like. a new one for you, that's isn't it? That's what I like. Okay, right. So launch angle was 10.5. I'm going to launch this a little bit higher now. Carry 273, this. total 297. Okay. Good shot. Okay, definitely launched higher on that one. Okay. A little bit more right. But certainly the launch angle was way up on that one. There's a good shot, a little bit further right, but that's actually going to suit this hole. Attack angle 2.7, so it was definitely, it was similar on that, smash was very good. Launch angle 11.6, so again, 11 very 6. similar, but again, spin, let's have a look at that, 2,400. Maybe a little higher, slightly open face, there's a bit more right on that yeah. one. On that but, one there. but straight away, looking at the spin there, 
it's it's hard for you to do much more than that. Now we know that the M5, from what people are saying, is see, seems to be spinning a little bit less, but obviously with the lower loft and the way you've got the weights in there, it's going to help you. And that was a height. That was a for me that that was a bit of a push face open, but it still only spun at two four, so that's quite a low spin still. Okay, okay. So that that's your driver option. With the three wood. Let's go into that, but you don't normally hit off the tee, do you? Because no, I know this is a normally a tee club for you. Well, do you know, I love the driver so much that I actually feel I can hit the driver more consistent than the three wood off the tee. So I've got the M5 uh, three wood here, 15 degree, but I play this more as a fairway club. Mm. So for me, I want to hit this a specific number on maybe a long par five where I want to reach in two. I don't really fit, fancy hitting this off the tee. I feel like I can either get the driver out and hit it more in play than that, or on a tight one, get the old P792 iron, which is probably one of my favorite clubs. Okay and get this in play if, it, if, it, if I need to thread the needle, if of that course, makes sense. Of course, of course. Which you're going to need to if you're going to go between those two bunkers. Exactly. But let's just talk quickly on the numbers on this one. Again, from this, you're looking at hitting it about 255 carry, Carrying 255, yeah. Land angle, interesting, is over 40 degrees for you on this. So maybe with yeah. my three, we're just going to be under 40 degrees because it's going to go a little bit flatter. You want this to actually go a little bit higher and land on, yeah. the, on the green. So we need that land angle to be a little bit more uh, near that four, over 40 mark. So yeah, yeah, just over 40 you had on those. Hazardous ones. again here, 75 grams. 6.5 matching the driver. Gone for the black in there. Really important you, smoke. Yeah, exactly. All right, so the two iron is P790. You've said this is obviously your, it's kind of a safety club for you, isn't it? It's it your is. go to shot club when the fairway is tight or when you, you can't hit your driver because you're going to run out of room. Yeah, and it is. I feel like I can really hit this in play, get it a good distance. Definitely over 250 on this one. Okay. Um, but I've had this cranked a little bit more lofted from 17 to 19 degrees, just so I can get it to stop if I wanted to. I want to be able to use this off the fairway and off the tee, and it's just a great one. I don't feel like I can really miss it too far offline with this, and I can change the flight around with it as well. Let's see what you can do with this then. So I'm just going to go with the normal one here at that gap there. <laughs> it's not a very big gap, is it? 15 yards max. And you've done exactly what you want to do with that. You better not hit anymore, to be honest, because you're not going to hit them better. I don't than think that. I will hit anymore, Pierce. That was nice. That's gone right through on that middle stripe, which is probably That's where you're aiming. I feel like aiming. I can do with this P2, P792 iron, though. I feel like I can hit it through that gap there. So that, I mean, that was quite a penetrating flight as well. So it's a little bit lower because it's maybe a bit tighter. 222 carry, 243 total. That's exactly the sort of numbers that you're going to need when you're playing a shot. Interesting on that, and this is something that we should perhaps talk about, is the attack angle. 4.3 down. So 4.3 yeah. down. You know, that you should be hitting down when it comes to these long clubs. Just because it's a long club, don't think it should be going up towards the driver and hitting up. Even with the fairway metal, we want to be hitting down just a little definitely. bit. Definitely, it's going to help you with the strike, that is definitely. Okay, so good numbers, like I say, 70 feet in height. So that's probably a little bit lower than you would normally hit it, only by about 10, 15 feet. But it was perfect when you've got a, a, a tight tee shot like this. For sure. So that's what I hit off the tee. Let's go to the 17th, the signature hole, and see what I use with the irons. Oh my goodness, look at this. You could hit a golf ball down there somehow. I can, I can hit the green, I think, just about. <laughs> okay, so we've got Trapman in place, so we'll know exactly what's going on with the yardages with your irons. Having said that, there's a few things that we need to take into account. It is severely downhill, the 17th here, and it is 200 yards, but it's into the wind as well. So there's kind of a few things going on there. You think you're gonna be hitting about a six iron maybe to this, to this, uh, to this green, but what irons have you got? And from what number? Okay, so I've got 3-2 pitching wedge. I've got the P760s. Now, the P760s, it's an all forged head. So I've got the real feel of, let's say, a nice sort of blade iron. Yep. But I've got the performance of a, of a cavity. And I think this is what I like because I don't want to make it any harder than it is. <laughs> I want to make it a bit easier. But I still like to look at a real classic looking club. So I look down at this and it still gives me that sort of nice slim look of the club where it feels like it's a player's club. Yep. So. Really important for me that I get the right look and, and I feel that it's um, a very good looking club. But again, I want the forgiveness. I want to make sure that if I every now and again miss the center every now yes. and again, Pierce, and if I do, I've got that forgiveness. That's, as well. e that's exactly what this iron does though, doesn't it? It gives you the classic look and feel, but you need the help and the performance. So you're half inch longer than standard, two degrees upright. Two degrees upright, yeah. So I've got a Project X 6.5. So this is a fairly stiff shaft. I like that with the irons because I want to really feel that I've got control. So I like a firmer shaft with the irons. Interesting enough with the grip, I've got golf prides on every single one of these. The last couple of years I've messed around with two, three layers and I've never really got it right. I've always felt that it's not quite thick enough. So this year I've gone right, forget it, I'm going to just go with the mid-size. The mid-size for me feels perfect. I really feel like I've got a solid grip on the club now. 
And for me, having that slightly larger grip, I feel I can get more of a relaxed pressure in the hands, which for me is key as well. All right, okay. So let's so watch it a couple. Yeah. Let's see if you can hit the green. So let's say we've got track man in play. We kind of know that normally when you hit a six sign, it's going between sort of 185, 190 yeah. on a normal condition. So it'll be interesting to see how far it goes today. So it's into the breeze. On this one, I'm actually going to try and hit it, knock it down a little okay. bit. Okay. Because it's into the breeze, if it climbs, I'm going to lose distance. So I'm actually going to go with a little bit of a, a knockdown one so it doesn't get affected too much by the breeze. I think we should go and do, when we do the putting part, I think we should be down there on that green. Okay, so ball back in the stance a little bit on this one. Slight pull, but you can still see even because we're so elevated here, it still looked like it went high, but actually it went uh, a lot lower than a normal six line. Yeah, it did, didn't it? It did. You can see straight away you put the golf ball further back in your stance, so your attack angle's a little bit more down. That was 8.7 degrees down. Yeah, total was uh, 185, but that's okay. I mean, that's considering, so it's a little bit short, obviously, from the middle of that green. Yeah, and you kept the ball flight down as well. I mean, you've got it at under 90 feet there in height, but normally you'd be over 100 feet in height, but yeah. with this wind you wanted to try and knock it down, didn't you? Well, I, want a, I, want a better, I want a better one than that, Pierce. Yeah, it's a little short, that is. A little short, okay, I'm gonna hit this one sort now. front left area of the green. It's a tight flag today on that right-hand side. Well, I think there's some undulations down there as well. Yeah, that's better. Still climbing on that wind, it it's is. so exposed here on this shot. Yeah, that's yeah. better. Front of the bit green. further up the green. Not bad. Definitely a little bit lower on that one as well. Probably need one more club here, actually, looking at that there. But again, attack angle, again, is 7.8, so you're hitting down on it a little bit more. Again, it's gone, obviously gone a little bit further. The height, you've kept it under 97. Uh, under 97. Yeah, I mean, I've only had probably three games with these so far, but so far, so good, I would say. I like the feel of them. I like the control that I'm getting with them as well. So, uh, yeah, happy, happy with the irons at the moment. Happy with a lot at the moment, to be fair. All right, let's see what else we can do on this beautiful golf course. All right, let's look at the wedges, Andy. So what is your make up? Okay, so I have a 52 and 58. I've always had these because I'm definitely more of a feel-based player when it comes to short games. So 58, I feel, is high enough that I can do what I need to do, whether it's a short game shot, a bunker shot, or flop a pitch shot. shot, flop shot. I think I can do everything with that. And then I've got the 52 for me, which is a pitching club, but it's also a chipping club. I use this a lot when I'm faced with pretty much a standard chip where I've got nothing in the way, really. So plenty of green to work with. I'll use this quite a lot. But my typical yardage, let's say with a 52, is between 115 and 120. But I do like to hit some smoother one of these. And I've gone the high toe in both of these. The difference really with the high toes in the 58 is this one's fully covered with the grooves where this one isn't. This one's a, a sort of more of a traditional looking face. I wasn't sure on this one at, the, at first. You weren't, well, you know. But actually, the more I've used this, the more I actually really like it. There we go. Good, good, good. Same right. again, mid size Project X 6.5, exactly the same shafts to, to keep it consistent throughout as well. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a 100 yard shot here. We're on the first. It's a, it's a beautiful looking hole. Water in play, very much so. It is. When you're hitting this shot, so you said, you said that you would not normally, sorry, you said you were a very good field player. Now, with this sort of shot here, it's not a full 52, is it? So you need to take a little bit off, don't you? Yeah, so it's 100 yards. So for me, I like to hit, I could actually reach with the 58. Yes. If I wanted to hit full out one of those, I could, but I don't feel I get the control with that. And for me, I don't really want too much speed on short game. I want to be able to control the speed because I feel I've got control of the distance. So I would much prefer to hit a smoother 52 degree because I feel I can control the flight, but also can control the distance that it goes as well. So I hit a lot of these. 100 yarder, I feel like I've got that sort of number dialed okay. in. Let's see what you got. Okay. Hopefully, uh, get this one close, Pierce. Mm. It's a beautiful framed gonna, hole this one is, isn't it? We're gonna find, it is indeed. We're gonna find out how close in a moment because we're gonna do the putting down there. You see, that's obviously not a full out shot for you. It's nice. Yeah, very nice. It actually nice. could be quite close. We can't see the bottom of the hole, but that actually could be really close. Should we go and do some putts? Let's go and do it. So Andy, we're almost done. We're obviously on the putting green at the first. The putter. Yes. The, probably the most important club in the bag for a lot of people. It is, is it for you? Uh, well, yes, definitely. If I can roll <laughs> a few of these in, it's always nice, isn't it? If you get the get onto the green and can't finish it off, it's frustrating. So, okay. so you've had a fitting recently, well, I'll say recently, uh, end of last year with Dwayne at the Kingdom. It's, TaylorMade HQ, and it was quite interesting what you came up with as a result of that fitting. Yeah, it was interesting because I actually preferred the look of a more face balanced putter. Yes. I put it down, I was like, I really like this because I feel I can keep it square. So that was a single going bend. Going back, the single bend. But when he put me on the gear system, 
the single bend face balance actually was returning the club face a little more closed. So even though I liked the look of it and I felt good with it, my club face was wanting to point left all the time. So we've gone for this small slant neck in the end because as soon as we put this down, there's a little bit of toe hang in there as well. And what that did really was it actually allowed the club to rotate a little bit on the way back. And for me, it actually returned the club back more consistently square to where I was aiming. So even though I preferred the look of the, the face balanced and the, uh, the, the single bend, I went with performance over yeah. over eyes, if that makes sense. And we always say that generally, if you start knocking a few putts in, then guess what? You start liking the look of it as well anyway. Yeah. So you've got obviously got Spider X with the copper. Yes. And what is, you got 34, 34 inches, inches there. Yeah. Okay, 34 okay. inches. So that's normal length. Yeah, and copper, I wanted something that was just really going to enhance the white here on the top. So I felt that, that this was a big contrast for me and I'm looking down, it really highlights that. And I know this sort of runs into the, the face here. So um, I really like this channel that they've got because yeah. it definitely draws my focus to that the attention to that really. Okay, the copper is kind of similar to my hair as well, so it obviously reminds you of Exactly, me. yeah. It gives me a nice feeling when I look down at <laughs> it, Pierce. <laughs> I know you're lying now. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. So you've got about 18 feet here. Okay, let's have a, let's have a couple of putts here. And just uh, So far, so good. Again, I like the putter so far. Well, obviously, we, we know with these Spider X's that we're going to get the stability when we're off center. Pacey sure here, pace control. Pacey here, Pierce. Greens are fast here, Greens are the so way, fast, they are. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, the, again, so far, you know, for, with this really, I've probably had half a dozen games with this and uh, I, I like it, even though it looks a little different to what I'm used to. I've been rolling some putts in and still managed to beat you, Pierce, which is the important <laughs> thing. <laughs> I don't know where he's got that information. I, I'm not wanting yet though. Let's see if you've got one more chance of knocking one in. But I mean, look, again, I know that they've made the insert a little bit thicker on this as well. So it actually, for me, when I use this on a personal level, it feels really good, the the, oh. the contact on those putts. But it's a, a hard putt, yeah, it's a hard putt. It's very hard putt. This, the biggest difference for me feeling between the old one actually was definitely the insert. It was definitely a softer, yes. more solid feel on that. But, um, you know, the proof's in the pudding. This year, I'm looking forward to testing this out on the golf course. and. Uh, and see what it performs, especially in the YouTube golf day. Oh yeah, not On, on the 6th of May, this. Not Can't wait for that one. Not to go. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed that. And also a massive thank you to JCB Golf and Country Club for letting us come out into the golf course here. It has been a, a fantastic golf course to get out and see some of the holes. There's still a few holes we haven't seen yet, so maybe yeah. we can come back and do some more content. Maybe a course vlog we should do. Do a course vlog, why not? Yes, let us know if you've got any questions again about my clubs, about my game, please post them down below. I'll get back to as many as I can. And also, if you want any more information about the products that I've used, click the link in the description down below. And we'll see you next time.